What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's ProPJ and welcome back to day 17 of This is the Police! Alright, we are heading into the last 10 days I think it is. I think this goes up to like 29, 30 days. So we're heading into the last portion of the game. Um, but let's read some newspapers. So, citizen earnings have fallen 9% since the new year. Unemployment in Freeburg is the lowest in history. Former City Hall employee admits official unemployment data far from reality. Well, that's not good, man. Jack, you need to get yourself a new car, man. You know what I'm saying? Alright. It's my dog's birthday and I want to spend the day in the park. Can you let me off? No, fuck you. <laughs> going and spending your day with your fucking dog. Book of Fever! Book of Fever! Book of Fever! Alright, alright, alright. Alright. What we got? Tomorrow's the deadline. Fire female cops. I don't want to fire my female cops. What we got? Disorderly conduct? The elderly Emma Weston called in a complaint about her neighbors. Her house is shaking from loud sounds of metal and the roar of turbines. Accompanied by some strange beeping noises. Through the window, she saw people moving around. Uh, Vandal and Robbins can go. Actually, no. Vandal and Grant. Yeah. It's interesting. It's, it's hard to balance out, by the way, like, who is going to be best suited to go with who? It's always a fucking struggle, because I'm like, oh, they might do good, or they might do good, and it never works out. Patients at the local asylum rebelled against the nurses during breakfast. Three nurses have been wounded, while others remain locked in with patients in the dining area. They threaten to kill one nurse every hour until they're released. Let's send in SWAT. Let's send in a paddy wagon, let's send in Staval, Samadhi, and that'll be it. Alright. God damn it. Disorderly conduct report. Here we go. Offender court, officers unharmed. Great job, dynamic duo. Wonderful result. Wouldn't you agree? person watching this. <laughs> Where the fuck are they go? Oh, it's on like... Oh my god, it's like an Arkham Asylum thing in Batman. Like, it's just on a fucking separate island. Um, reporters and non-walkers have gathered around the building. The asylum patients are watching the crowd- the growing crowd from the windows on the third floor. Um, gain entrance through the back door. Offenders court officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. That's what we wanted. Right on. That's how you take a fucker down. Yeah. What's next? Nothing next. I haven't heard from Sands yet. He usually is like once a day or once every two days. Uh, reckless endangerment. A frightened woman phoned in reporting two men dressed in armor were running through the streets shouting, Beware our stings. They were chasing passers-by and swinging their blades at them. They've not done any harm, but their swords seem dangerous enough. Okay, I'm gonna wait for Staval to get back. Which is now. Staval. And Vandal and Grant. Why not? Grant can tag along, I guess. What happened to the case? Wasn't there a case, like, happening? Wasn't there an investigation? Can I get some details of that? It was a case. Oh yeah, the museum thief. Theft. Thief theft. Words. Oh, I just wanted to have a drink. Uh, the Sands need help. An old friend is visiting Mr. Sand, they're planning on going horseback riding. The owner of the country club just called. He wasn't making much sense, but it sounds like punks are beating Mr. Sand's horse to death. Smarty, get out there. 
Reckless endangerment. I have found the court. Officers unarmed. Civilians unarmed. That's the way we like it. That is... Mwah, perfection. Smarty, don't fuck this up. I kind of need the sands on my side. Otherwise, I'm a little bit... Pfft. So don't fuck it up, Smarty. I have to... F it's telling me that I have to fire, like, all my female cops. For City Hall. I don't want to do that. I mean, Grant isn't great at her job, but fuck it. She deserves to be here just like everyone else. Reports of suspicious people are constantly going in and out of the apartment next door. They're carrying big bags, making lots of noise, screaming, and the three sons can't concentrate on their homework. He urges someone's got to show these bandits who's boss to Val Robbins. Uh, and a paddy wagon. Why not? Is what I say. Why not? Actually a pretty uneventful day. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Usually there's a lot. I feel like the, usually there's a lot more to this. Oh, there we go. I spoke too soon. I jinxed it. God damn it. Whole mob of Vargas people attacked the truck belonging to one of our companies. The truck is carrying some important cargo. Kind only Mr. Sand and his deputies know about. The driver tried to call us, but we lost the connection. He may already be dead. We've got to stop those assholes before they make off with the goods. How'd you handle the noise complaint? There we go. That's what I like to see, boys. Ooh, automatic weapons. I'm not telling the Mafia to sell that. No. Stavall, so make it back in time. You will. He will. He fucking better. He fucking better. No, he will. There we go. Go and help out Mr... You're back. Okay. Mr. Sands. And we'll be Uncle Dory. Hopefully. Hopefully. And that should be the last case of the night. Hopefully. What do we got? Oh, they finished. Great. Easy enough. Oh my god, the Sands are just winning. Great. I want the sands on my side, and I, I want, I know that, uh, I, I can kind of sense that a mob is going to end up running this town anyway, so I might as well have a mob on my side so that I can, I can run things how I want to still. Um, former Mafia member, BMO City Hall Corruption, Mayor Decline Service of Spokesman, I speak for myself, Chief Physician at St. John's Hospital accused of slander. This town's a little bit fucking hostile towards each other. Just gonna throw that one out there. I'm too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Can I go home? No. Not my fucking fault. Let's put on some... Oh, yes. Let's... Let's put on some... Let's put on some smooth jazz. I don't know whether it's jazz, but it sounded fun. Oh, righty, righty. Fire female cops. Jack, you swore an oath to serve the city. If you can't keep those promises, we won't keep ours. Well, fuck you. I'm not just firing all my cops for no reason. A rape. Two homeless men made their way into the local bakery under cover of darkness, where they ate their fill and bedded down for the night. In the morning, the bakery owner, Gregory Martinez, Along with the cash register, Anna Lucas went inside and discovered the damage. Homeless men armed with knives were unhappy to be disturbed and attacked the victims. Shopkeeper managed to escape, but the cashier remained inside the homeless man, who was seen tearing off her clothes. Let's go Kochi, McNally, Asano, 
price and yeah we'll go Percy as well hopefully it'll give these two a bit of a fucking boost price and uh, Percy by being with the other three hopefully we'll get a little bit of a boost out of it because those guys they're fucking horrendous the sands need help true color hotel after the incident with the horses we secret we transferred mr sands guest to the local hotel and set up a guard outside door suddenly we're hearing screams coming from the room and there's water flowing from the bathroom we'll break down the door but the police a police presence wouldn't hurt yancy go for that all right what do we got we did a good with the rape Civilians unharmed, officers unharmed. Great! Resolved. That's what I want. I want... I want results. I expect nothing less than perfect. Not really. Can't expect perfect and everything. Uh, a fight. Two truckers... Uh, let's start then again. Two, <laughs> two truckers fell to blows over a parking space in the lot near the diner. The cook tried to separate them and was struck by a wide, wild punch and is now laying on the ground motionless. Okay. Let's thank Gucci. Pretty. And. Sabaki? To Sabaki? To Subaki? I don't fucking know how to say that. Uh, I'm just going to call you Mr. T. <laughs> From now on. Even though you're a woman. Mr. T. Is what her name will be. Because I can pronounce all the fucking others. Fight has been dealt with. Great. Everybody's unharmed. That's what we want. Pretty easy day so far. Pretty breezy. Nothing too major. I like it. I like these kind of easy days. Here we go. What do we got? Jack, my entire staff at Donut Shop came down with the flu and I haven't been able to find anyone else to help out. Could you please send me a couple of your men? I'm sure they won't mind frying up donuts. It's easy. I'll show them everything they need to know. My shop barely makes ends meet, so I can't afford even one day of downtime. I'll send you my worst people. Get them out of here, Price and Percy. Good riddance. Is what I say. Good riddance. Because Price and Percy are just... They mean well, but they're fucking horrendous. I'm telling you, Chief, standing over that fryer is hellish work. I'd rather dodge bullets than the spray from burning oil. Boiling oil. But at least Mrs. Marbon promises she keeps us donuts through the rest of the year. Oh, that's good. That's nice. The Sands need help. We need backup. Some punks tried to crash one of our poker games and we aren't able to let them walk with the money. So now we've got ourselves a standoff. A couple officers on the sea will change the situation in our favor. Kochi and Asano. That's a good duo. Kochi and Asano. I like that. That's our dynamic duo for this team. This is Shift B, yeah? Oh, public and decency. Oh, my favorite. What we got? During a special viewing of the thriller Law Abiding Max 3, a theater employee discovered one of the members of the audience had removed his pants. The man noticed the employee was watching him and responded with the threat he would cut the throats of everyone in the theater. McNally, Purdy, and Austin. Yeah, good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, pretty breezy so far, which I like. I'm not used to it being this breezy. Vandalism. Men who wish to remain anonymous report the group of teenagers had once had once again made fun of his name by writing insulting rhymes on his six foot wide garage. The man is enraged and threatened 
For the next time, he'll use a weapon to defend his honor. Calm down, we don't need... Movie theater isn't too crowded than the... <laughs> He's literally naked. Ah, oh, Jesus. Carefully approach the man. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Just indecent exposure. Dumbass. Kochi Asano, my dynamic duo, once again. Out you go. This is good. We're having a good night so far. Uh, oh, we got three new frames. Here we go. Well, let's fucking do it. Oh, it might be blue. The blue guy. Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, that. I don't know. I have no idea what order to put these in. No order whatsoever. Oh, this guy's the uh, night guard, isn't he? Okay. So let's uh, do that, do that. Um, he inspects that. No. He inspects it and then... No, because the guy has to be gone by the time that he uh, inspects it. Um, hmm. Uh, something gets smashed through the window. And while he's doing that, he steals it? Maybe? Maybe that order? I don't fucking know. I'll deal with it later. Alright. Uh, what did I send Kochi and Asano? I don't remember. <laughs> That's it, the vandalism. That's right. Offender court, officers unharmed. That's what I like to see, ladies. Very good. Let's end the day. Sands 12, Vargas 4. Alright. I usually do two days, so I'm gonna stick with that for the rest of the playthrough. We're on day 19. So I'm going to leave this episode here, short and simple, I like it. But thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to favorite it, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys, helps me out a lot. There are links to my social media in the description box, and as always, there's a link to the ProPJ merch store down below. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world, and until next time, I'm YouTube's ProPJ, and peace out. For when love stories seem to end so long before they can start And the ones that do wind up with love is breaking apart Remember you and I have something more incredible than any old spark